The counter bass minor hack. This is the greatest accordion hack that I've ever come across. I, I use it in almost every single one of my songs. If you stand while you play, it's going to help you. If you have a smaller accordion, it's going to help you. Uh, whether you're a beginner or an advanced player, this is something you need to know about, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, my name is Denny Kremblis and I'm an accordionist that goes by Squeeze and Thanks. Today we're going to focus on the counter bass minor hack. This is an accordion hack that I use all the time. I use it in almost every single one of my songs. It helps out a bunch when I'm standing and performing, and now that I have this little accordion that Honer sent me, it helps out with that too. So we're going to be jumping around and going into different topics, but if you want to uh, hit up the description for the time code, I'll have everything laid out. If this is your second time watching this through, you can kind of go through the, the time code in the description. And to stay a little bit organized today, I'm going to be referring to the accordion chord chart. Uh, this is a learning tool that I've developed and have now given away to over 2,000 accordionists all over the world. And if you haven't checked out that video yet, I'll leave a little annotation. Uh, you can click on it up here depending on what platform you're on, or it'll be in the comments, it'll be pinned to the comments, or in the description. But stick around for this whole video. I have a bonus at the end that I'm going to be giving away and it's something you're going to want to know about, especially advanced players. I'm, I consider myself to be more of an intermediate player, but if you're even an advanced player, stick around to the end because I have something I'm going to share with you that you're going to want to know about. The accordion is organized into six rows, uh, starting with the middle C, that's the one with the dimple. We have uh, the, the root note. This is the deep, punchy bass note and it's usually accompanied with the chords, and the chords go down this way. We have the major, the minor, the seventh, and the diminished seventh. And we also have this row above it, which is the counter bass. So right above C, we have E. And as I started playing the accordion at an at a early um, stage in my journey, I started just pushing buttons and I, I, I thought if, if there's this whole row dedicated to a bass sound there's got to be some some co complex uh, pattern that you could play or some type of alternative pattern that you could play to get other sounds and after just spending a few moments searching around I came across the combination of playing uh, the C major the major of the C the major under the C and going diagonally over from the C to the A counter bass and playing the two of those. And it sounded ever so similar to just the regular A minor. And when I first started out, I thought it was the exact same thing, but upon further investigation, there's just a one note difference. Instead of the A minor, which is a C, an E, and an A, uh, we have the, the major of the C, which is a C, E, and a G. And when you combine it with the A, you get a minor 7. And sonically, when you listen to it, it sounds ever so similar. We have the A minor 7 uh, using the counter bass hack. And we have the traditional A minor. It's so similar, and really, it, it works in a pinch. Um, you know, being someone that never took lessons and kind of just figured everything out on my own, I just played songs and realized it worked. And really, the seven chord, when you add it to certain, certain chords, um, it, it takes it in a different direction, but with the minor and the minor seven, it's a very slight difference in how it sounds. It's ever so slight. There is a difference, but it doesn't sound very different. And you can basically use the minor seven in a pinch. So if you're playing a progression that goes C, A minor, F, and G, you're jumping around from the C all the way to the A minor, and then you have to jump back like Four, four or five buttons to the F, and then G. So it's... It, and it, it works. I mean, you can do that, but if you're a beginner starting out, 
that big jump between the A minor and the F is going to be difficult. So this this was a crutch for me, and I wound up using the A minor seven, and it and instead of doing a giant jump, I'm staying in the pocket, and it's all localized. It's all revolving around the C. So it, we have as opposed to. And it sounds so similar, and it, it just works. There's some songs where it just makes sense for you to use the traditional minor, depending on what combination of chords you're doing in, in a certain order. I know that if you're going from like a an A minor to a D minor, uh, it might make sense to go to that traditional A minor. And then go into the G and then back to the C. You still could use the, the counter bass minor hack and you would just be going over a little bit. So, And even with the 7 added to it, it almost gives it just a slightly different flavor that I think sounds nice. And uh, because the counter bass row is fully set up just like the fundamental bass row, everything is organized in the circle of fifths. It's just staggered. So if we look at the accordion cheat sheet, uh, this is something that's available uh, at squeezeandthanks.com shop. I have uh, full-blown posters and I have a smaller learning kit. Uh, this fits in your accordion case. Uh, it's laminated, you can mark it up. Even the posters are finished in a way where you can mark it up with a dry erase marker and erase it. Uh, but we're gonna focus on the major chord families right now. And we have, uh, for the C major chord family, we have the C, the F, and the G that are all major. The minor chords in there are the D, the E, and the A. So we have the D minor, the E minor, and the A minor. And we also have the B diminished. I, I almost never use diminished chords, so um, we don't have to worry about that for right now. But I will show you how to make uh, a diminished chord using this technique at the end of the video, so stick around. But um, yeah, because we have the D, the E, and the A minor, that's part of the chord family. And when you're playing a chord in a certain key, you tend to access those chords depending on how the song is written, how it's composed, uh, how the chord progressions go. But because the counter bass is set up just like the fundamental bass row, everything's organized circle of fifths. Um, if we have the, the D, the A, and the E as we go on the fundamental row, D, A, and E. But we also have that same formation up in the counter bass. We have the D, the D, the A, and the E. And because of that, we can now access all those chords in the counter bass minor row. Everything is right there, and if you're playing a certain song, it's, it's all right there. It's all within the pocket. So this helps when you're standing and performing, and you don't have to do those big jumps that require you to leap four buttons, five buttons, whatever it is. And it, it just makes standing and playing so much easier. Another big reason why you might want to use this is having a smaller accordion. This is a 48 bass, and because of that, everything's cropped in, and you lose some of the range that you would have on a 120. Even if you have like a 72 bass or a 96 bass, uh, you're still limited as to what you could play. The, the, the 120 bass has a great range on it, and if you have that type of accordion, this might not apply to you, but it's still good to know. If I were to play the A to its relative minor, the F sharp minor, uh, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'm, I'm cut off by what I can play. It only goes to an E right here on the top end. It goes from an E flat to an E. Uh, the F sharp is inaccessible. I would have to play it way up here, and I just don't have it with this type of accordion. But because we have the counter bass minor hack, you can access an F sharp minor seven which sounds the same and it's it's located right where it should be this this applies all the way through so using this technique you're extending your range on your accordion ever so slightly this this 48 bass is closer to a 72 we have the availability of the f sharp at least in the minor format and even the c sharp minor if you're playing in the key of a it, it might be very common to to go into this the c sharp minor and that's still right above it and it's right there. So this helps kind of widen your range with these small accordions. So this is a very niche 
application, but there's 12 bass accordions. And I tuned in to Ronan Segal's uh, lesson that he gave. Uh, I think the video is called This Should Be Impossible. And it's basically how you play a minor chord on a 12 bass accordion. A 12 bass accordion only has a limited range and they don't have any minor chords, they don't have any counter bass. It's six bass buttons and it's six major chords. And you shouldn't be able to theoretically play a minor, but using this application, you can almost kind of like reverse engineer it. So um, if we're using the, the C major to make that minor seven, it's not a minor, it's a minor seven, but we're using that C major to make that minor seven, and we're using this A root over here in the counter bass, we could take the A that's in the fundamental row and use that with the C major. So it's, it's this weird type of cross up that you have to do with your hands. You have to use uh, your first finger here on the A and then, and then your, uh, your pinky finger on the major, but it works the same as the, the minor seven hack. So, uh, this is a little, very, very few people will benefit from this, but if there are any 12 bass accordion players out there, this is another thing too. I'm going to link his video as well so you can check out what he has to say about it, but it's another great little hack. So right after I finished recording this video, my friend Abigail Pauly from Texas got a 12 bass accordion. So this this trick, this technique, is really gonna apply to her. And I just wanted to shout her out. She's been playing the accordion for just a few months and she is my one and only Patreon member right now. I have a Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash squeeze and thanks. If you guys wanna become a member, there's plenty of cool benefits, perks, merch, um, all stuff that you get with just a small monthly donation. And uh, yeah, with, with that said, we'll uh, return to the video. If you're playing traditional music on the accordion, you're probably familiar with that that type of sound. I, I don't know what it's actually called. If you know what it's called, leave a comment down below so I know what it, what to refer to it as, but I just call it the boomta goomta. So with the boomta goomta, you need everything to be organized in circle of fifths because you're playing the perfect fifth right above whatever that root is. So if we're doing the C, we would need the G and we need it to be right right next to it. With the counter bass row, it's all still organized in the circle of fifths. So this counter bass minor hack is going to allow you to do the boom de goomta. If, if we're using the A, the boom de goomta would be the E. So if we're doing the A minor to the E, it's it's traditionally. But doing it with the counter bass minor, it's still right there. It still works because the counter bass row is still in the circle of fifths. So this applies across the board. This is uh, one of those things that it works. It works well. It works almost magically because I don't, I don't, I haven't heard anybody talk about it in 10 years of playing, but it's, it's one of those things that I use it all the time and I hope that it helps you. But that brings us to the end of the video. And before you go, I wanted to share something that I came across that actually does talk about this. And this is a PDF by Evan Perry Giblin. And he made the Stradella Extensions uh, PDF book for free. He gives this away on his Instagram. That's how I found out about it. His Instagram is soundoscope and in his link in his description on Instagram you can download this PDF. I'll also leave a link to this in the description of this video so you could check it out but if you do download it throw him a few bucks. He has a donation tab and this is something that I know would benefit several people um, especially advanced accordion players because if you scroll down there's all these different types of extensions you can do. There's the, the sixes you can do. You can do the major sevens. There's uh, the minor seventh, which, which we went over. Um, there's the dominant. There's the half diminished. And there's also the, there's plenty of extensions in this. The, the, the one that I do uh, wanna focus on is the half diminished. 
and the full diminished. So in order to access diminished chords, he gives you two ways that you can access diminished like chords. You, um, the, 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 the row on this accordion is the diminished seventh, uh, this, this very last row down here, but because we can't access a B diminished seventh, which might appear in, in some type of song using the C major chord family, uh, we could use this this little extension to help us. So we have the B in the counter bass row, and if we play the D major of that, we have that uh, B minor seven, which we talked about. Uh, that's the counter bass minor hack. But if you go down one extra row, you have the B in the counter bass, and then you have the minor in the D row. You have the D minor chord. In playing those two, you get a half diminished. You can also go two rows over and down to the last row on the diminished, and you would get a B full diminished. That's the full diminished, and this is the half diminished. And there, it might not work for what you're, you're doing, or it might, but if you have this limited bass row, it would help. So. Uh, just to illustrate how that would sound in comparison, uh, I have I do have the E diminished, E diminished seventh that I can access on here. If I can't access that, I could play it like the counter bass minor hack, but then go one down to the G minor. That's the that's the E half diminished compared to the E diminished seven. Or if you want to do the E full diminished, we have this. And that's the E full diminished. So we could do the E full diminished, E half diminished, or the E diminished seventh. Hey, so it's me again. I'm editing the video and I just wanted to briefly talk about the diminished seventh button on the accordion and why a diminished seventh on an accordion is different than a full diminished seventh. So we have the C diminished, we'll say. Uh, the C diminished seventh is a C, an E flat, a G flat, and then the seventh is that A. When you play the C diminished button, the C diminished seventh button, it's getting rid of the G flat. It's a C, an E flat, and an A. And why they got rid of one, I don't know, but any of those chord buttons, you only get tritones. And even with the seventh, you're only getting three notes. So why they do this, I don't know. Maybe it was a design issue, but when you actually play the counter bass extension, it's adding that fourth note, so you're getting a full diminished. So uh, Rod Stradling made an excellent article called The Mystery of the Diminished Chord. Check that out, I'm gonna link that below. Excellent read, but yeah, we'll get back to the video. Just wanted to share that quick, kind of clear up the confusion, but yeah. I never use that, I hardly ever use anything with diminished, but that's just one other extension uh, that, that Evan illustrates in his PDF. So again, download that, check it out, and it's a huge help. Uh, it's, a free, it's a free resource, and uh, yeah, Evan, thank you for taking the time to put this together. So much work went into this. There's so much in here that is way over my head, but there's a lot of great stuff in there, and I know that for at least the advanced players, there's some crazy harmonies and all that stuff. It, way over my head, but an, an incredible free resource. So if you, if you download it, if you use it, be sure to throw them a few bucks. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the counter bass minor hack. Are you going to be using this accordion hack? Is it something you're going to implement in, in your songs like I do? Uh, let me know if you think it's wrong, uh, if, if you shouldn't be doing this. Um, I, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to. I, I understand it could enforce maybe um, less uh, dexterity with, with switching between chords and there is an advantage to playing things traditionally because you know what a four a four row jump is, and you and it, it might be easier for you to execute that if you practice that over and over and over again. But I think it's good to to have both. I think it's good to to practice things the traditional way and to have that in your back pocket if if you are playing and standing up and performing and you're throwing your bellows around like I do sometimes. 
it is easy to have things in in the pocket and you don't have to make big jumps but let me know what you guys think uh and uh yeah be sure to download evan's uh, PDF, um, download the accordion chord chart, subscribe if you found any value in this video, and I will see you in the next one.